Oh, welcome back everyone. Hope everybody's doing good out there. Oh, here's our look. First look into the War A hives that we have. So these started out with a package of bees, one in each of them. Uh, this one right here is the one that we have treated with the eco wood. This one is a uh, just painted, regular paint, exterior paint. We're going to see how they uh, hold up side by side. Really like these uh, these hives. I, I've used War A in the past. They're very nice, very nice build. We're happy to have them out here. So let's get in here and see how they are doing. So we've been feeding these. I don't know personally of any type of feeder for a war egg hive. So we have a, a jar that we've been using. We just took out the top, top bar frames to make room for it. Uh, so this this box here that I that I took off for the first that was like this, it will usually sit like this. And this is a moisture box, a uh, quilt box. Uh, in the winter time, they fill up with cedar shavings or or sawdust or something, uh, wool, and it keeps insulation in there. It also helps keep the moisture out from getting in your hive. So that's all that this is. Uh, it's something that is common with the War A hives. These girls have built, oh, seven, looks like seven of their, of their frames out. So they have been working very, very hard, very fast. And what's unique about the War A hive, the people's hive is what it's referred to sometimes is when we add a box, we add it from the bottom. So this box will go up and the next box will come down and so on and so forth. And when you get up to four or five boxes, you can harvest that box. And that way your, your comb is always becoming fresh, staying fresh, and you know, the bees have ample work to do. These hives, just like a top bar hive, you can't, you can't pick up and go like this. It will collapse. So you take it and you, this is how you expect it, to keep it vertical. The building up, you can see it a little tiny. Very nice, very easy to lift. There's no heavy lifting, just like the lands. It's very good on your back. It's a different style, different management style for sure. But the bees, they're just gentle. There's not a lot of invasiveness going to them. You know, the hives are, are easy to manage, easy to work with. Not a lot of people use them though, around, at least around my area. So what we're doing is we just want to keep the hive, or the comb, we want to keep it squared up as much as we can. We don't want them to attach anything to different, different combs. We want to keep it, keep it tight, respect the bee space keep it going up and down you know and they're they're good about it I mean these, these frames have a, a top bar V cut out in them and then a little bit of sides right here to guide them and they can attach to so they're not as fragile let's say maybe a top bar so what we're looking at right here is she has food here some pollen cap brood very nice larvae. Let's see eggs. Again, same way with this side. Young larvae, some eggs, and the cap to brood. And they have the food bar up here. Combs, they don't weigh very much at all, anything. They're very easy to handle. When they get capped with full honey, they look extremely nice on a display table. 
had a chef in a restaurant, a graze table, charcuterie. We just set it in. It makes a very nice centerpiece. We have a little rack that we, we put them in. We sell them by the by the old frames. They're very nice. Again, what we're looking at, capped brood. A little bit of food up here, some pollen. And then they're storing their honey right here. Just all along here. So they've got the honey band right here, the pollen band, and then the, and the brood. I love how the just letting the bees build their own own way, their own style, what they want. When it's worker brood and stuff, they haven't got the drones yet. They're still small, but they'll they'll get drones. Oh, let's see that one. We didn't have it set up all the way right. So what we have to do? We're probably going to lose this one. That's a shame. Maybe not. So we'll keep it here. There's our queen. So you have to be very careful. These are brand new combs about doing. They get heavy about keeping them. You have to keep them up and down. It looks like that's going to stay, it didn't break. Until they get a little bit harder. But over here again, we just keep them pushed over just a little bit and they'll reattach it and they'll fix that part back up but that way they are going straight so we don't get wobbly crazy comb or anything that be has some pollen on her but it is a fresh fresh comb it's all fresh comb it hasn't been set up very long and they're building on this one as well with a fresh white white beeswax very pretty very nice there we go so what we're going to do is we're going to keep letting them let them build Got a little bit of little bit of comb right there that the building. Let me see that they have got looks like six in this one. A little bit further behind than that one, but not very much. Eggs in here, larvae, food at the top. Doing exactly what they're supposed to be. See. Aren't those just the neatest little frames? Really cool. My daughter really likes these. Lexi, she loves working the war hives. So, we'll probably see a lot more of her in these. Now we just keep everything tight together and they build nice. And they'll come over here and they'll, they'll finish this area up and then they'll, it'll be basically a little rectangle type hive they'll kind of round it a little bit but they don't round it very much they'll just be tapered on the ends like I said they look, they look really nice for a display table in the middle in the center I see our queen she's on that next one larvae eggs pollen Give a little bit of a blow on them to move them out of your way so that you can see your frames clearly. And there she is right there. Those marked queens are easy to see. They're the same thing. So the war AIs are coming along nicely as well. be fun to it'll be fun to get them 
show them their progression as they go along throughout the year. Looking forward to them as well. And like I said, I've, I've had war aids before. They are a, they're a nice hive. Nothing really heavy about them. Um, I like them. There's a lot of people that don't use them. They don't understand them. It's a different management style for sure. But once you get done with the management, once you once you learn about them, they are they're a nice hive. Something different than the length straw. It's easy on your back. You know, they're just not not as heavy or anything like that. I like the styles of them too. They look they look neat, especially if you got like a uh, a garden stick in your garden. You know they look, they look nice in a in a backyard or something like that. So, but the the bad thing is that they're very hard to move. So once they get built up traveling with them is is, is difficult because the comb is just not very stable all the time all right well that's a look in the war a hives out here in our teaching yard hope y'all's bees are doing good thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one see ya